Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Doll Chat Diner. Uh, I'm Robert Tonner, and we're going to talk about something that's near and dear to my heart today. Um, th people ask me about, about um, inspiration. And when I was growing up, one of the things that inspired me most was the paper dolls in McCall's magazine. Now, a lot of you baby boomers will remember that. But there was a very special artist who did these uh, paper dolls, and her name was Ginny Hoffman. Now, uh, I grew up with these. Uh, Ginny did the artwork for McCall's probably for, uh, from the late 50s through the 80s. Um, and uh, at one point in the late 90s, I had the opportunity to meet Ginny, and she was 83 years young, and really young. Um, great person. Uh, and it was it was kind of a wonderful thing to do. Now, since since this is doll chat, let's talk about dolls real quick. Um, during the 50s, American Character had a very very popular doll called Betsy McCall, and uh, from from the paper doll from McCall's magazine. And and this is a mitten box version, American Character Betsy McCall. Uh, this was probably done in 1950. 1959, something like that. Uh, but a beautiful little sweet doll, uh, only eight inches tall. And, and again, this was a very, very popular doll for, for um, American character. As I got to know Ginny, she explained to me how it all worked with, uh, with McCall's. They would ask her to do something. They gave her outfits from various um, clothing companies, kids' clothing companies, from, for many years to uh, for her to use as inspiration for her designs. And then later on, they knew she was so good, they just said, just design them yourself. So a lot of the later paper dolls are Ginny Hoffman designed clothing for Betsy McCall. Uh, during the time that I did get to know uh, Ginny, she uh, gave us an incredible, incredible opportunity, me and collectors, an incredible opportunity. She sold a lot of her original artwork, and I happen to have some of it right here with me. Um, if you look at some of this uh, right over here, this is a, an original paper doll that was done for the original artwork that was done for McCall's magazine. And if you've collected the McCall magazine paper dolls, you'll, you'll recognize it. Here's another one. I mean, she was very good. Very she was a very clean artist. Um, she, she had a very uh, good sense of proportion, and she could draw clothes like nobody else. I mean, she was very precise. Um, Here's one from 1976, if I can get it over here. 1976. And by this time, she was designing the clothes herself. Before that, they were, as I said, they were from various uh, toy, uh, from clothing companies. Um, over here, we have, she did, uh, later on, they did these headers for the paper doll, paper dolls that were shown in McCall's magazine. And this is one of the headers. So you'd have this header, and then below it, you would have Betsy dressed in her various outfits. So Ginny got to do her illustration work as well as the paper dolls. And then over here, here's a 1969 calendar page. This, uh, they did this once a year. For the, for the kids who expected a paper doll, they were disappointed. But, in, 19, but uh, in January of every year, she would do a calendar page. And this is Betsy through the year. And we have something very special here. This was a doll that we did. Of course, uh, the Tonner doll had um, Betsy McCall li had the Betsy McCall license for many years. And this is a doll that I did uh, dressed in a little dress that I thought was kind of typical of Betsy. And uh, if you notice, the bottom hem has Ginny sketches printed on the bottom of the dress. This was a fun one to do, and Ginny very much enjoyed that. Uh, Ginny, I'm sad, sad to say, has since passed away, but uh, the collection of what she left and the inspiration, not only for me, but for a, a lot of baby boomers and the, and the kids who, who played with those paper dolls, she really left a legacy. That's it for uh, Doll Chat today, and uh, catch us on YouTube. Have a good one.